Welcome, prayer enthusiasts. If you're seeking to deepen your spiritual journey, consider subscribing to our channel. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary adventure, a 30-day prayer challenge designed to create a life-changing habit. Imagine starting each day with a serene moment of connection, a sacred pause in the hustle and bustle of life to converse with the divine. This challenge isn't just about uttering words, it's about instilling a practice that will enrich your spirit, strengthen your faith, and bring clarity to your life's purpose. By subscribing to our channel, you'll have access to daily guidance, historical insights, and practical applications of prayer. Together we will explore the profound depths of devotion, unravel the spiritual significance of prayer, and learn to apply these lessons to our everyday lives. So, are you ready to transform your life through the power of prayer? Join us on this transformative journey by hitting that subscribe button. Before we delve into the historical context of daily prayer, let's take a moment to explore the various ways we can communicate with the divine. Just as conversations with our loved ones can take many forms, so too can our dialogues with God. Firstly, we have prayers of praise. These are moments when we express our love, admiration and awe for God. Praise is an affirmation of God's greatness and a celebration of his divine nature. It's like looking at a breathtaking sunset and being moved to say, wow, you're amazing, God. Next, we have prayers of thanksgiving. These are expressions of gratitude for God's blessings, both big and small. It's about acknowledging the good in our lives and saying thank you, God, for all you've given me. Then we have prayers of confession. These are times when we acknowledge our sins, our shortcomings, and our need for God's forgiveness. Confession is an act of humility, an admission that we have strayed from God's path and a plea for his mercy. It's like saying, I messed up, God, I'm sorry, and I need your forgiveness. Lastly, we have prayers of supplication, also known as petitions or intercessions. These are prayers where we ask God for our needs and desires or pray on behalf of others. It's like saying, God, I need your help. Please guide me, protect me, provide for me. Understanding these different types of prayers can enrich our prayer life and deepen our connection with the divine. As we journey through the history and practice of daily prayer, consider how you can incorporate these forms of prayer into your own spiritual routine. Remember, prayer isn't just about asking for things. It's also about praising, thanking, and confessing. It's about opening up a dialogue with God and making space for Him in your daily life. Prayer is a universal language spoken in many different religious dialects. It's a common thread that ties us together as spiritual beings, regardless of our religious affiliations. Today, let's briefly explore how prayer is practiced in some of the world's major religions. Firstly, Christianity, the religion we've been focusing on so far. In Christianity, prayer is often seen as a personal conversation with God. It's about expressing your feelings, seeking guidance, and building a relationship with the divine. Christians may pray privately or in groups, at church or at home, using set prayers or their own words. Next, let's take a look at Islam. In Islam, prayer or salah is one of the five pillars of Islam and is performed five times a day. These prayers are a disciplined practice with specific physical postures and recitations in Arabic. The prayers serve as a constant reminder of God's presence and a means of seeking his guidance and mercy. Lastly, let's consider Buddhism. In Buddhism, prayer often takes the form of meditation and chanting. It's less about asking for divine intervention and more about cultivating positive qualities like compassion and mindfulness. Buddhists believe that through prayer, they can transform their minds and hearts, and ultimately their lives. Despite these differences, prayer serves a similar purpose in all religions. It's a means of connecting humans with the divine. It's an affirmation of our faith, a way to seek guidance and comfort, and a tool for personal transformation. So, as we continue our exploration of daily prayer, let's remember the universality of this practice. Whether we're Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, or followers of any other faith, we are all part of a global community of prayer. And through prayer, we can deepen our spiritual connections and enrich our lives. Prayer has been a spiritual cornerstone for countless generations. This statement holds true across cultures and religions, but for now, let's focus on the practice of daily prayer within Christianity. To fully appreciate the role of daily prayer in our lives, we need to journey back in time to the early Christian communities. These communities, consisting of followers of Jesus Christ, were scattered across the Roman Empire, 
in cities like Jerusalem, Antioch, Rome, and Corinth. Prayer was an integral part of their communal and private lives, a way to remember and honor the teachings of Christ and to seek guidance, strength, and comfort. They followed a pattern of prayer that was deeply rooted in the Jewish tradition. The early Christians prayed at specific times of the day, much like the Jewish custom of morning, afternoon, and evening prayers. They also embraced the practice of communal prayer, gathering together to pray, sing hymns, and share meals. Fast forward a few centuries to the Middle Ages, and we find a new chapter in the history of daily prayer. This period was marked by the rise of monasticism, a way of life that emphasized asceticism and contemplation. Monks and nuns lived in secluded communities, dedicating their lives to prayer and work. Monastic communities developed what is known as the divine office or liturgy of the hours, a set of prayers to be said at specific times throughout the day and night. This practice was based on Psalm 119 verse 164, which states, seven times a day I praise you for your righteous laws. The divine office included prayers at sunrise and sunset, as well as during the night, and was meant to sanctify the entire day with prayer. However, daily prayer was not reserved for monks and nuns alone. Lay people too were encouraged to pray regularly. The Book of Hours, a popular devotional text, guided the faithful through prayers for different times of the day. Now, let's bring our historical journey to the present day. In our modern world, the practice of daily prayer has taken on new forms and interpretations. While some Christians still follow the traditional practice of praying at set times, others have adapted the practice to fit their busy lives. For many, daily prayer is a time for personal reflection and connection with God. It may take the form of silent meditation, reading scripture, singing hymns, or simply expressing gratitude for the blessings of the day. Some people use prayer apps or online resources to guide their daily prayer. Others join prayer groups or participate in communal prayer services, both in person and online. Despite the changes over time, the essence of daily prayer remains the same. It's a way to foster a personal relationship with God, to seek guidance and comfort, to express gratitude, and to reflect on our spiritual journey. In the words of St. John Chrysostom, a fourth century bishop and preacher, prayer is the place of refuge for every worry, a foundation for cheerfulness, a source of constant happiness, a protection against sadness. So, whether we're praying alone in the quiet of the morning, joining a prayer group online, or participating in a liturgical service, we are part of a rich and diverse tradition that has been nurtured and passed down through the centuries. Understanding the historical context of daily prayer gives us a greater appreciation for its enduring significance. As we move forward in our exploration of daily prayer, Let's keep in mind this rich tapestry of history and the countless generations of believers who have found comfort, strength, and inspiration in this timeless spiritual practice. Daily prayer is more than a ritual. It's an intimate conversation with the divine. It's a gentle whisper in the stillness of the night or a loud plea in times of distress. It is the lifeline that connects us with the divine, a conduit that allows us to express our deepest emotions from joy and gratitude to sadness and despair. It's an act of faith a proclamation of our dependence on a power that is infinitely greater than ourselves. Prayer is a spiritual exercise that strengthens our souls. Just as our bodies require physical exertion to stay fit and healthy, our spirits need the nourishment of prayer to remain steadfast and resilient. It allows us to delve into a realm that transcends the physical, a dimension where time and space are irrelevant. It's a realm of pure consciousness, of profound peace and serenity, where we commune with the divine. More than a monotonous chant or a mindless repetition of words, prayer is a heartfelt conversation with God. Picture it as an interaction with a cherished friend, someone who listens without judgment, advises without bias, comforts without reservation, and guides without self-interest. This friend, this confidant is God. In our prayers, we confide in him, sharing our deepest fears, aspirations, and desires, knowing that he listens with infinite love and understanding. Through prayer, we cultivate profound relationship with the divine. It's a bond that strengthens with every conversation, every shared emotion, every plea, and every word of gratitude. This relationship is not transient or superficial. Instead, it's a profound connection that defies human understanding, a bond that remains unshaken despite the stormy seas of life. Daily prayer acts as an anchor, 
holding us steady amidst life's tumultuous waves. It fosters an unwavering sense of trust and faith, reassuring us that we are never alone in our journey, that we always have a constant companion in God. Not only does prayer strengthen our bond with God, it also cultivates an attitude of gratitude. Amidst the fast-paced rhythm of life, we often forget to pause and appreciate the countless blessings that surround us. However, the daily ritual of prayer offers us the opportunity to express our heartfelt gratitude, not only for the tangible blessings, but also for the intangible ones, like love, peace, health, and freedom. It's a gentle nudge that turns our attention towards the abundant beauty of life, fostering a positive mindset that appreciates the good in every circumstance. Furthermore, provides guidance. Life is a complex labyrinth of decisions and choices, a journey filled with twists and turns that often leave us feeling lost and disoriented. However, prayer serves as our compass, guiding us through this labyrinth. It's in these moments of quiet contemplation that we often find clarity and direction. We may not receive explicit answers to our queries, but we experience a sense of serenity and reassurance. We gain the confidence to tread on, knowing that whatever path we take, God is with us, guiding us, and cheering us on. In addition to providing guidance, daily prayer is a powerful instrument of transformation. As we reopen ourselves to the divine wisdom of God, we allow His love and grace to permeate our beings, gradually reshaping us from within. Prayer is not merely about asking God for something. It's about surrendering ourselves to His divine plan. It's about shedding our fears, insecurities and doubts and replacing them with faith, courage and certainty. Through prayer, we gradually align ourselves with God's will, becoming more in sync with our true nature. Finally, daily prayer is an act of surrender. It's about acknowledging our limitations and recognizing the infinite power and wisdom of God. It's about, about letting go of our need for control and entrusting our lives into His capable hands. In this surrender, we find peace. We let go of our anxieties and worries, resting in the assurance that God is in control, that He knows best, and that His plans for us are far greater than our own. By cultivating this daily practice, we learn to surrender, to trust, to be grateful, and to seek guidance. We learn to listen, to be still, to be patient, and to be resilient. We learn to love, to forgive, hope, and to dream. In essence, daily prayer becomes more than just a spiritual regimen. It becomes a way of life. To sum it up, daily prayer is more than just a ritual or a duty. It's a spiritual lifeline, a bridge that connects us to God, a beacon that guides us through life's ups and downs. It nurtures our souls, strengthens our faith, and transforms us from within. Prayer is a spiritual lifeline, connecting us to God and nurturing our souls. But how do we incorporate daily prayer into our busy lives? This question, a common query amongst many, draws attention to a struggle faced by individuals who seek to infuse their lives with regular spiritual communion. Do not despair, for today we aim to provide answers. We wish to delve deeply into the practical implications of daily prayer, offering a variety of tips and techniques that can assist you in integrating this divine practice smoothly and effectively into the framework of your daily routine. Let's begin by discussing the concept of allocating time for prayer. Time, an elusive entity, often appears to slip through our fingers like sand through an hourglass. However, it is essential to remember that prayer does not need to be time-consuming. Even a few moments of introspection, taken in silence and solitude, can have a profound effect on our state of mind. Start slow and steady. Initiate your journey with a mere five minutes in the morning, possibly while relishing that first cup of coffee, or at the end of the day, when the world is quietening down during the peaceful tranquility of twilight. As you become more comfortable with this practice, you will naturally feel inclined to gradually extend the duration of your prayer time. Next, we explore the importance of creating a conducive environment for prayer. A serene and peaceful spot can significantly augment your prayer experience. You might choose a quiet corner of your home, a favorite spot amidst the greenery of your garden, or even a local park. The aim is to find a place where you feel at ease, where you can connect with your spiritual essence without any external distractions. It's not about the physical dimensions or aesthetic appeal of the location, but rather the sense of tranquility it can impart to your soul. Moving on, let's discuss the structuring of personal prayers. There is no universally applicable format for prayer. It is a deeply intimate act, a personal conversation between you and the divine entity you believe in. 
This dialogue could be as simple as expressing gratitude, seeking divine guidance, or requesting strength to face challenges. You might wish to commence your prayer by acknowledging the benevolence of God, proceeding to express your needs and desires, and finally surrendering your concerns and apprehensions to His divine will. Over time, you will naturally develop a rhythm and structure for your prayers that resonate with your individual spiritual needs. Prayer aids can serve as incredibly beneficial tools, especially when you are embarking on your journey of spiritual communion. For instance, prayer books provide a multitude of pre-written prayers that offer you a basic structure which you can modify and personalize over time according to your needs. The rosary, a string of beads, is another potent tool for prayer. Each bead signifies a prayer a mantra or a divine thought guiding you on your spiritual journey. In the age of technology, mobile applications have emerged as effective aids to prayer. Applications like Pray As You Go and Sacred Space provide daily prayer and meditation guides, scripture readings and reflective questions, all conveniently accessible on your mobile device. These digital tools can serve to remind you to dedicate time to prayer, provide a structure for your prayers and even allow you to join an online community of fellow spiritual seekers. However, remember that these aids are meant to support you in your journey of prayer, not to dictate the course of your experience. At its core, prayer is a personal dialogue with God. It involves opening your heart, laying bare your soul, and reaching out to a higher power in a manner that is unique to your spiritual beliefs and practices. Integrating prayer into your daily routine might seem initially However, remember that it is a journey, not a destination. There might be days when you feel a deep connection with the divine and others when it feels like an uphill battle. Consistency, however, is key. Continue to show up, continue to seek, and over time you'll find that prayer becomes less of a task and more of a sanctuary amidst the chaos of life. Prayer is not merely about asking. It's also about cultivating a sense of awareness, being present in the moment, tuning into the divine whispers that often drown in the noise of our everyday lives. As you embark on this journey, be kind to yourself. Embrace the silence. Allow the tranquility to seep into your soul, washing away the noise, the stress, the chaos of daily life. Let prayer serve as a soothing balm, a lullaby that calms your spirit and aligns you with the divine. As we draw this segment to a close, I hope that these practical tips and techniques will serve as stepping stones, guiding you towards a deeper, more fulfilling prayer experience. Remember, prayer is not a duty, but a gift. Dialogue that nourishes the soul and illuminates the path to spiritual growth. Incorporating daily prayer into our routine can be a transformative spiritual practice. As you weave this divine dialogue into the fabric of your everyday life, you'll find that not only does it enrich your spiritual journey, but it also infuses your daily life with a sense of peace, purpose, and divine alignment. And isn't that a beautiful way to live? Now, we invite you to embark on a 30-day prayer challenge. This spiritual journey, a quest of discovery, reflection, and soulful growth, is no ordinary adventure. It's an exploration of your faith, an opportunity to dig deeper into the fabric of your spiritual life. This isn't about ticking off boxes on a checklist or striving for an impossible standard of perfection. No, this endeavor is all about fostering a deeper, more meaningful connection with your faith and experiencing the profound impact of consistent, intentional prayer. We are here to understand, appreciate and absorb the transformative power of prayer. But how do we achieve this, you may ask? Well, we'll use a specially designed program that comprises a unique theme, a prayer prompt and a reflection each day. These three components will act as guiding lights for your daily prayer sessions, helping you to focus your thoughts and intentions as you embark on this spiritual odyssey. For day one, we start with gratitude. Pause to ponder over the blessings that have graced your life, the small triumphs and the great victories. Reflect on the moments of joy, the instances of love, the snippets of happiness, and express your heartfelt to God. Your prayer could be as simple as Thank you, God, for the gift of life. Use this day to cultivate the habit of gratitude, to recognize the gifts you've been given, and to appreciate the beauty of existence. Day two shifts your focus to forgiveness. It's a time to think about the people who may have caused you pain, intentionally or unintentionally. It's an opportunity to ask God to help you forgive, 
to let go of the hurt and resentment you might be harboring. Remember, forgiveness is more about you than it is about the person who wronged you, and it sets you free from the shackles of bitterness and resentment. On the third day, we reflect on guidance. We all at some point face dilemmas and uncertainties in life. Use this day to ask God for wisdom and direction. A simple prayer could be, Lord, guide me in your wisdom. It's a day to seek answers, to ask for clarity, and to pray for the courage to follow God leads. For day four, we focus on peace. In a world that often feels chaotic and turbulent, we pray for peace in our hearts and in the world around us. God, grant me and the world your peace, could be your prayer for the day. It's a time to yearn for tranquility, to aspire for harmony, and to pray for the strength to be a peacemaker. Day five is about love. Reflect on God's unconditional love for you and ask him to help you love others the same way. Your prayer could be, God, fill me with your love so I may love others. This day is for cherishing the power of love and praying for its omnipresence. Day six will be about praying for others. Think about your family, friends, acquaintances, and even strangers who might need a prayer. Lift them up to God, asking for his blessings upon them. This is the day to practice compassion, to step outside of our own world and to intercede for others. While on day seven, the focus is on strength. We all face moments of weakness, times when we feel we just can't go on. Use this day to ask God for strength. You might pray, God, grant me the strength to face my challenges. As you move forward, days eight through 30 will follow a similar pattern, each day focusing on a different aspect of your life and faith. You'll be encouraged to pray for joy, patience, courage, humility, and many other virtues. Through these prompts, you'll be able to explore a wide array of themes, deepening your prayer life. Now you may ask, why journaling? Keeping a prayer journal during this challenge can be a powerful tool for reflection and growth. Write down your thoughts, feelings, questions, and discoveries each day. This could include the day's theme, your prayer, and any insights or revelations you received during your prayer time. Journaling can help you see patterns and growth over time. It's a tangible way to track your spiritual journey and the changes in your heart and life. Your journey might not always be smooth, some days will be harder than others. It's natural, but don't be disheartened. The important thing is to show up, to be present, and to be open to God's presence. Sharing your journey can be a source of encouragement and inspiration to others, and their stories can inspire you too. Whether through a prayer group with a trusted friend or on social media, don't hesitate to share your experiences. We hope this 30-day prayer challenge will enrich your spiritual journey and bring you closer to God. It's not just about the next 30 days, it's about creating a habit, a lifestyle of prayer that will continue long after this challenge ends. So, are you ready to take the challenge? Let's start this journey together. We've journeyed through the history, significance and practicality of daily prayer and introduced a transformative challenge. We have traversed through the ancient pathways of human history, shedding light on the origin and evolution of prayer practices across different civilizations and epochs. From the early civilizations of Mesopotamia to the intricate rituals of the Egyptians, the profound philosophies of the Greeks, the deep faith of the Israelites, up until our modern era, prayer has been a universally embraced spiritual practice. We discovered its spiritual significance the transcendent connection it serves between us and the divine, the strengthening power it holds over our faith, and the spiritual awakening it can induce. Prayer, in its essence, is a profound conversation with the divine. It is a spiritual dialogue that opens our minds and hearts to a deeper understanding of our existence, our purpose, and our spiritual journey. It serves as a bridge between our earthly existence and the divine realms, offering us a glimpse of the inexplicable mysteries the cosmos, we explored its practical elements, how it can be seamlessly integrated into daily life, bringing serenity amidst the chaos of our earthly concerns. It can offer solace in our moments of distress, provide guidance in times of uncertainty, and serve as a source of strength when we find ourselves surrounded by the storms of life. It's a soothing balm that can heal our spiritual wounds, a guiding light that can illuminate our path, and a comforting companion that can accompany us in our solitary moments of introspection. We then embarked on the heart of our journey, the 30-day prayer challenge. This is a simple yet profound commitment designed to help us cultivate a life-changing habit of daily prayer. 
This challenge serves as an invitation to experience the transformative power of consistent prayer. It's a journey of spiritual exploration, of personal growth, and of deepening faith. It's an opportunity to discover the extraordinary potential within the ordinary act of daily prayer. The structure of the challenge has been carefully designed, aimed at offering maximum support and guidance. It's a blueprint of spiritual growth, a roadmap leading to a deeper connection with the divine. The challenge offers a rich variety of prayer practices drawn from different spiritual traditions. It invites us to explore different pathways of prayer and discover the one that resonates with our own spiritual inclinations. Consider the 30-day challenge and the potential it holds. Reflect upon the rich history of prayer, its spiritual power and its practicality. Contemplate on the transformative potential of this challenge, the spiritual growth it promises, and the deeper faith it can cultivate. Prayer is not just a religious ritual, but a deeply personal practice. It's a conversation with the divine, a moment of introspection, a pathway to peace. It's a habit that can transform your life one day at a time. From the tranquility of early morning prayers to the reflective moments of evening prayer, from the gratitude expressed in daily blessings, to the comfort found in bedtime prayers, the habit of daily prayer can touch every aspect of our lives. It can transform our perspective, shape our values and guide our actions. As we conclude this journey, let's remember that every journey begins with a single step and every habit starts with a single action. The 30-day prayer challenge is that action, a stepping stone towards a life of deeper faith and spiritual growth. It's an invitation to embark on a spiritual journey, a call to deepen our faith and a challenge to transform our lives. So let's step forward. Let's embrace the challenge. Let's make prayer a daily habit, a constant companion, a guiding light. Let's open our hearts to the divine. Let's cultivate a habit of introspection. Let's walk the path of peace. Let's transform our lives, one prayer at a time. Let's embark on this journey together, supporting each other, learning from each other, growing together. Let's create a spiritual community, a space of mutual support, encouragement, and inspiration. Let's forge a bond of shared faith, shared journey, and shared transformation. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more spiritual content. Let's embark on this journey together, one prayer at a time.